Hi, my name is Peter. I'd like to show you how to run ANSYS Fluent in batch mode on the Rescale Scalax platform. So first of all, go into rescale.com and log in with your credential, and it will bring you to this page that will list off your simulation you have run in the past. Now, if you want to run a new ANSYS Fluent model, click on the new job button on the top left, which will bring you to your job setup page. ANSYS Fluent, you can give it a name. For ANSYS Fluent, you need two files in order to run it uh, properly. You need a case file that contains the geometries and the mesh and the setups, and you need a journal file that define how you like to run uh, your ANSYS Fluent. You can prepare these files locally on your computer, and if you have it ready, you can click Upload from this computer, and let's upload those to this job. So now you can see the status of, of uploading here. So the case file, um, we're using the .gz format to, uh, for a, a compressed format. And for the journal file, you can actually view it. It's a text-based file. Essentially, all we're saying here, we're going to open up the, uh, the case file. We're going to do the initialization. We're going to solve it for up to 500 iteration. When it sits down, then we're going to save it back to the case.gz with the number of iteration and exit and sit front. Now, this is essentially mimic what you do on the GUI and uh, in a command line base. All right, now we have the input file ready. We have the uh, journal file set up already. Uh, and I should have mentioned that this journal file can be generalized. So if you, you can use this example and adapt to your own model. Now, next step is to pick the ANSYS Fluent as the software. So here we can search for Fluent and go ahead and select ANSYS Fluent. And you can pick the version you like to use. So let's using the latest release, 2019 R1. And down here, you can it will ask you to pick the input file to start. And in this case, it's going to be the journal file, run underscore plot.jlu. And once you click, it's going to be a, has a green check mark in front. And you see the command template will populate to adapt to this input file here. And finally, you will choose the license option. Now, if you already have a ANSYS Fluent license and where either Rescale is hosting the license or Rescale connect to your license server, you'll choose this, the bottom option, use existing license, and then type in your license server address. If you're doing a trial uh, with us, uh, you can use the Rescale trial license here by clicking the On Demand and Rescale trial. All right, once you have all that, let's go on to the next step which is picking the hardware resource you like to use. So here you will choose the best uh, core type you think is for your model. And if you're not quite sure, let's start with Onyx, which is a, a very uh, good core type for most of the models. And you can pick Onyx. And down below, you can set how many number of cores you like to run. This model is fairly small. I'm going to go ahead and run with 18 cores. And finally, I'm going to set a war time of five hours, because I know it runs about one hour. OK, and then let's go on to the next step. This is where you can add a optional post printing script for here. And again, this optional. Let's go ahead and skip that. And finally, you're going to review, making sure everything looks good on your account. And that's it. You can go ahead and click Submit, which will go into the submission sequence. So the rescale are going to validate your account and inputs, go in and provisioning the cluster for the job. And then, then finally, you're going to the running job stage to start iterating. Here, now the job has been start running. You see it takes about two, sometimes two to five minutes to starting the cluster. And once it's done, it's going to be under the running job stage now. So while the job is running, you can monitor the progress. Uh, the best way is to look at the pro, uh, process underscore log file, which will show you what stage you're at, what iteration is at and making sure the residual is converging. Now, you can even also set up your ANSYS Fluent model such that it generates plots as it's solving uh, as it's solving every iteration. And if you have done that setup, you'll see this residual.jpg file showed up here, which will show you visually your uh, residual that's converging down. Again, this is help you monitor results as you are progressing. All right, once the job is completed, you will see all your output. Well, once it's completed, it will show up under this results tab. So this is where you can download all the results and move everything back. So this is how you run ANSYS Fluent in batch mode on Rescale. 
Now, if you don't have a ANSYS model yet just yet, you can use one of our tutorial to get started. To access the tutorial, you can click the help menu on the top right and click on the documentation link. On the documentation, you're going to the ANSYS resource and going to ANSYS Fluent, ANSYS Fluent Batch Example. So here we provide you two different examples you can run right away. So if you want to run this T-junction pipe example I just showed you earlier, simply click Import Job Setup button, which will move and uh, make a clone copy of that example and set it up under your account. It takes about a minute or so, but once it showed up, you have all the inputs and all the models and the, everything ready for you to launch. So now you see it's showing up under the account now. It's loading into your Rescale account. All right, once this is completed, again, it takes a minute or so, you see everything is now completely set up. So you have the input file ready, you have the, uh, the software set up, and you have the hardware set up. At this stage, all you do is to click the Submit button, which will launch this job, and you can experience how to run this on the Rescale platform. All right, thank you. Let us know if you have any questions.